Hello world, Lisa Fredrickson, your friend and computer science professor with another short screencast about access. And this time we're going to talk about how to troubleshoot queries when they don't return the expected number or the correct records. So let's just start with a quick example. Let's say you're interested in what's going on in the state of Virginia. You know that the state field contains the abbreviations for states and VA is the two character abbreviation for the state of Virginia. With a query grid, I don't need to type in the quotation marks around text strings. Access will add that for me automatically, and I'll hit my data sheet view and see what's going on in Virginia. And here we have one customer in Virginia, the city of Richmond, and they've ordered all kinds of different products. So what I'm really interested in is just the syrup. So I'll go back to design view and type in syrup in the product name, and again, click away, that's another string. Uh, text field, so I don't need to type the quotation marks, hit my data sheet view button, and there I've got my four orders from the state of Virginia for syrup. But then I think, well, I'm really interested in syrup and coffee. So let's come down to the second row and put in coffee and look at my data sheet view. And now I'm pulling coffee for both Virginia and other states. I've got some Georgias and some Washingtons in here. What's wrong with that? The typical reason why you get too many records in a query set is not understanding that the criteria rows are completely separate tests. So in our first row, we have to be in the state of Virginia and syrup, but in the second row, I could be in any state and coffee. If I really wanted just the Virginia records, I'd have to add that Virginia criteria to the second row as well. And now I'm pulling only Virginia, the syrup, and coffee. Now, there's another reason why you sometimes get a lot more records than you desire, and that's because of these relationships. If there are not solid relationships between all of the tables, and I don't mean that every table has to be related to every other table. That's a misnomer. But every table has to be in the chain of relationships. And if one of those links is broken, I'm going to go ahead and delete the relationship here between the products and the order details table. Now these three tables, which do know how they're related, do not know how to connect with products. And what you'll end up with is every record will be joined with the products table. So this is called a Cartesian join. In design view, every record from the products table is attempting to connect with every record that is created by this relationship. So anytime you get a crazy number of records, I'm always looking down here my record navigation bar to see how many total records I have and making sure that that passes the reasonableness test. If that number is way too high, it might be that the relationships were not created correctly in query design view, and those will be created automatically for you if you have the relationships set up in the relationships window, which is where you should put them because of the extraordinary increase in productivity and performance of your database. So I've added back in that relationship to give me the correct answer on the records. But if you go into design view and your criteria rows look correct, but your tables are not related, I'd go back to database tools relationships and make sure that all the tables are are connected together in proper one-to-many relationships with referential integrity applied. And if that's the case, then I can add a table. I'm going to delete the products table. That's going to delete this product name field out as well. And then go ahead and add that back into my design view. You're going to see the automatic relationship link line with the symbols that indicate that referential integrity is applied. I'm going to pull down my product name field again and go ahead and back, add back in the fact that I just want the syrup and the coffee records. Thank you.